Hey, this is Overpass Insights. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today let's ask the question, what if your app idea is similar to others? All right, so today I want to answer a question that came in a week ago from Himanshu Agrawal. Himanshu says, hi, I have a question. Do you ever have second thoughts about an app idea because you feel it'll not exactly be one of a kind app? Like you know you'll be offering something extra, but basically users will perceive it as similar to many others. And how do you deal with that? By the way, really nice content as always. Thanks very much, Himanshu. So this is a good question. I know it's one I talked about before, but your app idea doesn't have to be totally unique, right? The idea itself. If you're putting out something out there that's similar to others, I don't have a problem with that. I don't think that's there's anything bad with that as long as it's not something proprietary. Now in the past I complained a lot about copycats of my successful apps, but they were, it wasn't that they were taking the idea and just doing something similar. They were like taking the icon, the name, the keywords, the title, the color scheme, basically trying to make other people think that their app was my app. And so all of the advertising that all the money I was spending on, on getting it known and you know, advertising and everything, they were just trying to swoop in there and take that. And that's, that's different. So that's like, that's actually copyright infringement, trying to go through and use that, you know, take somebody else's almost their notoriety and everything away from them. All right. But if it's similar and it does something extra, then I think, I think that's perfectly fine. Now one, I can think about this, my third app that I did was a meditation timer. It was called Dive Into Silence. Don't look it up. I think it's still on Play Store, but don't look it up because it sucks. But the reason we did it was because I thought, because I, I, I saw another meditation timer. I thought it was really cool. And I thought that looks simple. I could do something like that. So we put it out there and it didn't do very well. Didn't have any traction. Didn't get any keywords. And there were so many meditation timers out there already. And there still are, right? The world doesn't need another meditate, doesn't need another timer, it doesn't need another fart machine, it doesn't need another flashlight, it doesn't need another flappy birds, right? It's, there's so many things out there that are crowded, but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't try. Like, one of the things about being a, like, if you've ever used an app that you really like, you think, oh, I, yeah, I really like this game, or I really like this app, one of the things you, you would do, and I, I know I do, is I would look for things similar to that. In fact, not only look for things, Google Play will suggest things, suggest things that are similar, or the App Store might suggest things that are similar. So you, you have that in if it is similar to other applications, where if you had a totally unique application, if it was totally unique, you would have to educate the market to go in there and look at it. I get a lot of calls from prospects, especially in the past, people call up and say, I don't have a budget, but I've got this totally unique app idea. I've checked the App Store, I checked the Play Store, it doesn't exist anywhere, totally unique, I think this is gonna be huge. And the reason I'm not impressed with that statement is because it doesn't have to be unique. Like if it was totally unique, then you, you have to think about advertising. You have to think, how do you get eyes on it? How do you get people looking at it? Now, when you say, do I, do I worry about an app being perceived as similar to others? No, not really. I don't worry about that perception uh, because, you know, it might be similar to others that are out there. But what, would, what does bother me is, is the ranking. Like, how are you going to be found? Like, if somebody goes searching for, let's say you do a flashlight app, just for example. And I know even, I don't think App Store even allows flashlight apps anymore. But let's say you're going to do a flashlight app and you put it out there and you call Flashlight Plus, right? You are not going to rank anywhere near the top because there are so many out there already and there's going to be one top spot where if you can't, if you can't differentiate somehow, then you, you're never going to be found, you're going to be downloaded and you're going to have to rely on advertising and, and getting it in front of the right people. So hopefully that's helpful, Himanshu. It's kind of all over the place, but yeah, it's like a fine balance between it should be somewhat unique, but not totally unique, right? If it's, and if it's similar to others, I'm not, you know, for me, I'm not so worried about that. So let me know what do the rest of you guys out there think? Do you think it has to be, do you think an app idea should be totally unique uh, or would it bother you if people said it's similar to other apps? Because me, it's never really bothered me too much. But um, let me know you guys' thoughts. Anyway, that's it for today. I'll talk to you guys again tomorrow.